Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and to Oxenpre. I am so sorry about last time, uh, about the game audio not recording. I have quadruple checked that it's recording today, and if it doesn't, I might just throw the whole computer out the window. Last time we went to Maggie Adler's place down here on the right. We found out a little bit more about these weird radio things. And then we started to decode some of the things that we'd heard around. Speaking of which, we there's nothing left here, is there? Wait, what was this? I don't remember that one. She doesn't know. First, we will eat. That's weird. She doesn't know. I thought there was another one with Morse code. Could be wrong. Oh, I forgot I could walk into this. Okay, maybe not. Alright, so we want to go to... I can't remember where we're going, actually. All this stuff is scratched off. I'm going to say Adler number station 140.1, so there we go. I guess maybe we'll go around and collect those. So we can go... what's the best way to do this? Maybe if we go left and up to the tower and then the woods. Let's try that. Up, up we go. Mmm. Huh? Pretty sure you guys are behind us a second ago. There we go. A set up devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. This early version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter. You can hear the other radio guys in the background. Nothing to say? Alright. Wow, just phase drive through Jonah. Hey. What's up? Can't even interact with you. That's weird. You're not moving or anything. Uh, do we have nothing to say about this? It must not be triggering because Come on. Up, up, up. because I need to do something in the game. But the fact that they're not moving is kind of just a bit spooky. Like there's no idle animations or anything. Okay, I think... I think let's go... Yeah, to Fort Milner. I don't remember this music playing before. It's nice. Oh, now I said it's gonna fade out. Oh. Okay, so here we are at Fort Milner. Something at my door. Okay, back. That was my landlord. He didn't even knock at the door. He had a, a plastic bag full of beer cans that he just hung around the doorknob. But because the the door is like this like loose fitting metal, it was jangling it, so it sounded like someone was trying to break in a little bit. Um yeah. He's really nice. He's a very nice man. Just didn't knock for whatever reason. Scared the bejesus out of me. Um, also, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, I'm watching, I'm, do I'm running a load of laundry, so if you hear some weird, like, thumps or beeping, it's a very violent sounding laundry machine. Anyway, back to the code. 140? Under the ladder, below the tango, T Oscar, O, whiskey, W, Echo, E, Romeo, R, under the ladder, Onto the ladder under the tower. Oh, here, 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 here. Yes. Adler letter. Hmm. 
The communication school here taught them how to make codes. Recruits learned communication technology here, and several other lear several others learned code breaking. It's true, but due to my aptitude in math and mechanical engineering, I was assigned code making, specifically ciphers with which to conceal projects from even other government agencies. It was a job I grew increasingly uncomfortable with, but my keen interest in radio silence radio silence had me pulling double duty as a comms officer. I remember one of the Canelo's engineers, Francis, calling me a radio woman. As far as he knew, it was my only job. Interesting. Okay. Next, I think we need to go up a little bit and then we can go over to Relay Point. Uh, facilities? I guess let's go this way. This looks right. Hopefully we don't see anything else creepy. Where did... Clarissa, like, disappeared, didn't she? Up we go. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to listen to. We turn full hearts to men who found no peace in dying. To be a founded living. Okay, it's creepy. Alright, onward. Sorry if my voice sounds a little crackly. I just got up not that long ago and I'm just drinking my first cup of coffee. I have a, a friend visiting town, but I haven't seen her in over a year. And uh, we've just gone out late every night. Yesterday went to karaoke, and so I think my voice is also fried a tiny bit from karaoke. <laughs> It's very good fun. I'm saying a lot of Disney songs. Whiskey. W. India. Cena. Uh, Hotel. W I S H. A penny for a whiskey. India. Cena. Hotel. A penny for a wish. Is there a well around here? Wait, let's look at the picture. Is there a well? Um, if you were a well, I'd probably be up near that cabin. Okay, here we go. That? No, stairs. Um, more stairs. Which way do we want to go? This way? It's so dark at the top left, you can't see anything. Oh, what? Invisible wall. It's strange, I don't remember there being an invisible wall there. Guess that helps. Alright, left. It's weird, there's not any dialogue now either, like... They didn't comment on seeing the other two, I couldn't even- they didn't even have idle animations. So even if you just stand around here, they have some idle animations, like, they kind of look like they're moving a tiny bit. What's so weird, the other two, Ren and, um, Nona, just perfectly stock still. Uh... Oh, there's another building. That might be it. That looks like top of a well. Yes. Oops, 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 oops. Ran right past it. Okay, there we go. They, um, Maggie and Anna tried to bring the soldiers back in the cave. Oh, is that why they're all stuck in the radios? Radio, radio waves? Hmm. After stealing equipment from this relay station, Anna and I entered the cave just before dawn to try and communicate directly with the crew of the USS Canaloa. We successfully tuned into the source of the temporal tear and spoke, albeit briefly, to Henry Griffin, an SOC sergeant who died on the sub, but the power overwhelmed my dear Anna and she was absorbed into its ridge. All that remains there now is this flickering hue of a partially opened gate, a window to a perpendicular space that seems to have augmented the submarine's call. But of all my regrets, perhaps the deepest is knowing Anna's last vision was of me fleeing from her in terror. Aww, sad. Campground is next. 
So how did they know... How did Maggie and Anna originally know to try and even tune into the radio waves? Do we learn that? I don't remember ever getting that information. Just that she had the radios. Maybe because she was around radios all the time, she could... She was able to pick up on it. You know? I keep expecting something. Do you know what time it is? It's four in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually? Pizza? In uh, that situation. Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. <laughs> you think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have, yeah. I just... I just wish I felt like the ghosts were concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Yeah, well, you know who else was confident? Hitler. <laughs> and look how he ended up. Dead. With syphilis. Huh? Did he have syphilis? True. I didn't know that. That's funny. Alright. We're supposed to be here. Oh, there we go. L E F T E. What? L E F T E? That was also a different voice than we'd heard before. Uncomfortable. Should we skip this? Go to Bridge Stand, Toey Woods, and Harden Tower? Because it seems like we're supposed to be here. Um, and this voice is kind of creeping me out. L E F T E, what does that mean? Oh, we have to go this way. L E F T E. Oh, it's saying left edge. Oh, wait. It's derp. E is not ed- Uh, edge is not E, it's echo. I think we have to go up. The cliff's edge. Left edge. Maybe at the top here. Oh, saw something. Yeah. Oh, Maggie thought that the way the ghosts can talk to us and vice versa is waves. Eight of Maggie's letters. Anna and I frequently conducted tests at what was once the East Barracks here during the brutal winter of 51. Waves of any kind, radio, nuclear, electromagnetic, seemed able to pass through all ex existences under certain circumstances, which explained our ability to get communi- commun- communics? Sent from them. This might also justify the frequency of hearing one of the Canaloa's electrician's call signs, Calvin Gilbert, coming, uh, come echoing through the relays. On April 4th, 1952, we would attempt to reverse the manifest breakdown and bring the soldiers back. So that's... That's why they started to do that. Yeah. So it's kind of... That is what like, I thought, like, just ended up using the radio and just was able to, like piece together that you could hear? Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. I mean, not, not... <sighs> Maybe I had to talk. Need more coffee. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the place where I'm supposed to be to trigger the thing. Well, that's what that ghost thing is, and you can still see it's got eyes. I don't like it. I like nothing about it. Ooh, the sound changing scared me. Come on, Jonah, you slowpoke. It's waiting for him to join. K 
Come on, Jonah. Oh my god. Jonah. Jonah. Jonas? Jonas. I'm gonna call you Jonah now because I'm so annoyed at you. And because I actually can't remember what your name is. <laughs> is it Jonah or Jonas? We've got plans to go rock climbing later today. Oh, the station's oh. up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. Jonas. I am so tired, I don't know if I can actually go rock It's not even rock climbing, it's lead climbing. Which I've never done before, I'm kind of nervous. In a, in a climbing People ship. People lose their names. And give them to... Golf. G. Romeo. R. Alpha. A. Victor. V. Echo. E. Cena. S. Where did we see graves before? I wish we could like zoom in. Where did we see graves? I vaguely remember seeing them, but I do not remember where. Oh. <gasps> huh! She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? Call sign F139. My belief, bolstered by Anna's and my research conducted largely at the Catbird Station where interruptions were rare, is that the men and women of the USS Canaloa were separated from our dimensional existence by the implosion of the submarine's nuclear reactor. Oh, because she said waves, like nuclear waves even. Okay. I identified one passenger, Henry, by his call sign and his confused dick his confused diction and reliance on game logic says to me that their emotional states, if not mental states, have been reduced to that of children. And I thought, uh, a thought I cling to when I envision Anna's demise. Hmm. Sad. Okay, I think we have Toey Woods and Arden Tower left. Let's do that. Down? Come on. Will you not go down here? You don't go down here? Okay, are you sure? Oh, is this a... I see. There's, I think, a tree right there, and I thought it was just like a gap I could... Oop, what are you doing? Sit down. Uh, there you go. The controls in this game are a little wonky at times. Oh. I think this will be okay. I don't know where the other one leads. Come on. Eh. Sometimes? Why can't we? Why can't I go through? Usually it pops up the name of where I can go. It's not letting me go. What? Because I have to click A to go through, but it'll pop up the name of, like, Go to Tawi Woods. What? That's so weird. Hmm. So what can I do about... This? Can I climb up here? Oh, okay, let's try this way then. I thought those two were connected. Alright, this makes more sense. It's weird I can't go in the bottom one, though. Okay, this is still... It's not letting me go over at all! Why? Is it because I'm where I'm supposed to be story-wise? I tried to make a circle around the other way and go to Towie Woods first, but I really messed that up. Hmm, what do... I guess the real test would be whether I can go left again. Out of here, because I think I can only go across that bridge. The rope bridge. Anything else in here? Hmm, that'll be a real bummer, because I really wanted to get the rest of those letters. I didn't think it would trap me in this area.
can't. So I am trapped in this area. Great. And I autosave, so I can't even go back. Great. Now the station's up at the top Jesus of the hill. Christ, it's I hope this works. <sighs> Every time it's here, it's so very loud as well. They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <sighs> yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. Why am I the only one that remembers them? I think I've asked this before. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... hope that. I am also hope that. Ren! Nona, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's... He had an accident. Oh, he he's on a he rock. He died. I couldn't. Oh my God, Ren! I, I can't believe this. What happened? He Whoa. he drowned. He took a fall. <laughs> I don't know. He just he just stopped. <laughs> I mean, does it really matter what happened? <sighs> Either way, done is done. Fix it, Ren. Whatever you want to call it. I know you're doing it. Just fix it. It's not us doing it, dear. We weren't lying. The time loops, as you've taken to calling them, which we do find so adorable, are of your own making. Ow. Oh. <clears throat> Whatever. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition. It never for you. does? A deal. A bargain, really. In a proposition? Like, uh, like what? It's already over with Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly and without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We'll... I don't get it. Why do you even need my permission if you have her already? Don't misunderstand. We don't need anything from you except what we can willingly take. We're merely offering you an arrangement that would leave both parties satisfied. Well, somewhat satisfied. Oh, forget it. No that switch the Everyone accept and disagree. Home. I almost clicked the Courage other way around. Is not always the way, oh, I'm taking it away from you don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? Fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all the rules. What were the rules? What were the rules? I don't remember getting rules. Uh, it sounds vaguely familiar, but... Oh, there's one up there. <clears throat> oh, I have to go up there. Okay, let's go. Is there someone sitting there? I can't tell. It's all distorted at the top. Hmm. I don't like these things. He was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just. It's okay, Nona. You. You didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course, it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's. I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is. He was more important. No, not really. Ren would be flattered to hear you say anything about him, so <laughs> if he can hear this at all, trust me, he's over the moon right now. Sure. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. He hopes you did. I think that's enough. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. Aww.
Oops. It's so weird. Can no one else see these? Am I the only one who can, like, interact with them? The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God. That was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. <laughs> the ghosts, they tried to make, like, a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I, I didn't take it, of course, but... I don't know, I, I just thought you should know. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any, like, power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway. Hello? You got he's alive. What? Are they... Oh, they're, um, they're somehow, I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> Are you guys at the station? They're both alive. Anybody? That's all I care about. Jonas? God. Yeah, Jonas? no, that's Punch a, out that's a bonus too. Seriously, right in the throat. <laughs> Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? The machinery speak and hug or whatever we're doing? Speak and hug. Yeah, let's do it. Time's wasted. Alright, hopefully I can go to like, the next area now. Wasted. Like I feel my body wasting away. No, it's it's okay if you're like dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? The uh when I almost kinda slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys that no, it was this. It was psychotic to watch. Like, almost doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. It was like, it was high. Believe me. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. <laughs> no, it, ugh, just whatever. I'm fine. She is fine. It's true. <laughs> Shut up. Aw, cute. Okay, just whenever you're ready, because I'm sure you're listening. Yeah, just hit the button, the receiver thing, and we can do this stuff. Stuff, exactly. <laughs> okay, over. Right. Over now. <laughs> Why do you have to have the last one? Over is good enough. I still over can't. Now. I still can't go. I'm gonna try the bottom one. And then if that doesn't work, we'll go up and hit the button. And then hopefully we'll be able to go... Because we'll have to head that way anyway to get to them at the tower. But I would really like to get the rest of those letters. Okay, just can't. Alright, so, gotta... Do this. It's a bit annoying because you can't force an autosave, and so you can only save between screens, but if it prevents you from going between screens, it's a bit annoying. Especially like, I wasn't this, I was playing um, Blackwell Legacy, but when I was, I really needed to go to work and there was just a forever cutscene, it was stressful. <laughs> Alright, let's go up. Hopefully we won't run into anything. Any other time loops? I wonder if the ghosts are like... You know how sometimes in vampire stories, vampires need permission to, like, enter your house? Like, do the ghosts need the permission to take Clarissa? And would that have screwed things over if I had said that they could take her? I stand right. Radio locked. by my decision. I keep forgetting this thing is that. Okay, I just have to tune it. What? Probably go a bit faster because I think it vibrates when I'm close. Would have been better had it never been found. What? It's interesting how much stuff is like came to sudden and violent death. Oh. It would have been better had it never been found. Oh. 
Is it telling me to go back to the ocean or something? Oh, there we go. Oh, I just sit here? There we go. Hello! We're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello! This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? <laughs> if you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Oh, thank God. I'd like to report a poltergeist. They've come into my house. They've shaved all my cats. They look better in my mittens. Oh, I just need any and all advice you can give me. Well, first... Can everyone just shut up. You can play dress-up phone time when you get home. We got work to do. Yeah, I guess he's right, actually. Okay, all right, fine. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Great. Okay, we'll meet you there. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. Close the time... H-D-E? Oh, hole! And save the day. I definitely look like H-D-E. Alright, cool. Let's go. Hopefully, we can get the last two letters first. Oops, nope, down here. So, should I go up of those two paths? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it matters. Come on. Come on. Let's see. Because I, I just need to make sure we get to the woods. And then it would be great to make sure we can get to the tower. Just really want to get to the tower. Should we try the upper one? I'm afraid of getting locked out of a, of a location again. Or locked into a location again, rather. Come on, down we go. Let's go up. I don't know why. Alright. There we go. Wouldn't do that last time. Okay. I can get... Ooh, I don't know if I can get to the tower from here. Ooh. I have an idea, Mr. Jordan. Couldn't we have him reborn? Oh no, come on, Jonas, don't turn freaky now. Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... What is it... Like, what does it feel like when that happens? Is you forget stuff, really. Like what you're supposed to be doing, or... I usually forget my dad's name to start. And then it snowballs into not remembering how to walk or talk and... But you, like, see stuff, right? Like, when I saw Michael on the beach Yeah, and I, you... I see stuff, but it's like, I don't know, they're like dreams. They just dissolve when I'm back. Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like, just, like, how do I say this? Because I don't want to... It's okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say, I just, I think it would have been cool us living together for... For whatever, senior year. Aww. And I'm just glad I met you, that's Aww. all. I'm just glad we met. <laughs> I'm glad too, okay? So there, it's out in the open, we're both glad. Okay, good. So, that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. Yeah, let's finish strong now. No half-acidness at the end. Okay. I can go back... So I'm going to leave this episode here, I think. Um, oops, wrong one. This one. So, need to find the code here, and I think Hardened Tower is the last one. Let me know if I'm missing anything else, or if there's anywhere else I should go before I meet Ren and Nona at the shelter. If I need to go back around or anything like that. Um, otherwise, I might look up how to get to Hardened Tower, just to make sure that I don't trigger a cutscene or anything. So... Oh, it's getting intense. All right. Thank you all for joining me in this episode. I'm going to bring it back here so there's some noise. Thank you all for joining me in this episode of Oxenfree. 
If you have any questions, comments, or anything you think I should do, I feel like Endgame is coming up soon, so if you have any ideas of what I should do before the end, please let me know, without spoilers if possible. Um, otherwise, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bye!